dead for it. Everyone get out. Greetings, programs! It's been a little while, but I decided it's about time I have another voyage in FTL. I, I did a whole string of them back to back, and I'm, I'm maybe going to space them a bit more out from now on, but uh, not quite as spaced out as the gap since the last one. But I was thinking about what games I wanted to show next, and I've got my CK2 going at the moment as a regular series. I did want to have a look at Stranded Deep because it was actually gifted to me by uh, Jin, she gave me a copy of that on Steam. And I'm finding it quite enjoyable, uh, you know, bear in mind it's early access, so there's always that pinch of salt you've got to take it with. But unfortunately, I just couldn't get it to record. Um, I was testing it out yesterday. And not only could I not get it to recall, but then my computer crashed a little later on. And I don't know if the two are related or if it was just my computer was having a derp. But anyway, so no Stranded Deep, unfortunately. I had a whole thing worked out for it and uh, now you'll just never know. However, we're back in Captain's Edition. I've decided we are truly going to have it as the Captain's Edition this time. So we've got actually a pair of new ships to choose from after the last voyage. I could take the Lanius Cruiser or I could actually take the Mantis Cruiser. Now, I've never played the Lanius Cruiser, so I'm actually thinking we'll give that a go. It doesn't unlock a ship from this um, to actually, if I, you know, won a thing in the Mantis thing, that would then unlock the Slug Cruiser. But we're gonna go with the Lanius Cruiser anyway, just because it's gonna pose some interesting challenges. Now, it is the Captain's Edition, so we are going to have some captains. So this is going to be uh, uh, Captain Leela. Okay, accept that. And then we're gonna have, of obviously, of course, James T. Kirk, because you can't have a group of captains and not have James T. Kirk. I mean, just come on. Who are you? And why do you even call yourself a science fiction nerd? And for the last one, I'm actually going to do something. I'm actually going to do something a little different. We're going to go with Rog Blake. And he's actually fighting against the rebels for a change. Because that's not really what he was doing. Uh, I can spell. Uh, no, I really can't spell at all. It's a lie. It's a filthy lie. Right, so there we go. So, uh, Rog Blake of Blake 7. You could argue he wasn't actually a captain, but he kind of was. I mean, he was the leader of the the rebels and the, the criminals and all the, you know, the, the outcasts, the rejects that were flying around on the... Uh, God, what was the ship even called? Oh, that's bad. I know the names of the characters and, you know, there was Orak and Zen, but now... the Liberator, that was it. I'm pretty sure it was the Liberator. Anyway, so... um. We have a requisition license. Interesting. And adaptive gel suits. Which I can understand would be useful with Lanius crew members, because it's two Lanius crew members and one non Lanius crew member. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm also tempted to try out normal mode, but we know how that's gone in the past. I might just stick with easy mode, because even easy mode, I find, like, it can be really difficult. But, well, actually, we'll take the challenge. We've got a bunch of captains. I mean, last time we had a bunch of, of uh, kick-ass crew members, and that seemed to do the trick. So, if we've got some kick-ass captains, that might also do the trick. I don't know. It was still fairly close, winning that last battle in the last voyage. But, anyway. So, this is the Lanius ship. I can apparently commit certain acts of uh, piracy, almost, uh, with my letter of mark. So I will socialise with the crew, and he says he has some friends, but they reside at another beacon, so let's jump. And also, to actually quickly look at the weapons we've got, we've got a, a charged laser and a neural stun, which has, uh, I presume you have to have uh, shields down for that to ha have an effect, so the enemy's shields to be down, but you can knock out crew members, I think, with that thing. And that's just a standard charge laser. So, uh, this might all go horribly wrong, because we're playing on normal difficulty, not just pansy-ass, uh, easy, but we'll still kick your ass difficulty. 
Rebel space station on a single fighter is monitoring this beacon for Federation activity. Remember, civilian ships are docked, awaiting inspection by the Rebels and possible detainment if they are Federation loyalists. The Rebels haven't noticed you yet. Uh, stay quiet and hope they don't notice you. We're actually going to... I probably shouldn't avoid the fight, but I don't want to take on a space station so soon. Like, that probably be, would be a really bad idea. Space stations are pretty tough. Oh, and we jumped to a space station. And um, AI... Uh, mind you. <laughs> Federation AI Corps. Uh, my new master, the infallible rebel fleet, uh -huh, told me to suffocate my crew and engage any hostiles that uh, arrive at this... Uh, okay, so this has been... You know, this station's run by HAL 9000, basically. So, uh... Power up the charge laser. The, new, the neural stunt is totally useless. We actually have a hacking drone as well. We have nine drone parts. Um, we might hack... I think hacking shields. And oh, they're counter hacking my hacking. Oh, that's sneaky. Okay, well, uh, charge laser on the shields for now. Oh, this is one that can charge up three times. Okay, well, we'll just let it charge them. Um, oh. Roger's already taken a hit. Right, we're gonna have to... Oh, God. See if we can time it right. Right, counter-hack their hacking. And that should break my hacking. And that's almost... Oh, did not need to knock that off mine. Right, so I've counter-hacked their hacking. And we have a full charge, so we'll get three shots. And there we go. And... Uh, I don't know whether to let it... We'll get off a single shot at the... We'll damage their weapon systems. And then we'll let it charge up again. Right, they're going for my security cameras this time. That doesn't matter at all. Um, but I don't necessarily want to use another hacking... Um, or not that I can unless that one gets destroyed, but that's fine. I can just continue to disrupt their hacking. So we've got three shots. Actually, their shields aren't back up yet. And because it's um, an AI station with no crew, it just heals automatically, but it heals slower than if there is a, an actual crewman um, doing the business, as it were. So we'll actually... Oh, we don't have a med bay. I've just noticed that. This is a ship designed without a med bay. So we'll actually go to the shields there. So I can't heal up Rog. Presumably... Ah, it's a cloning bay. Ah. See, that's me paying attention. I don't tend to use cloning bays. I don't particularly like them. It's like, it's like it's different enough that it's an interesting idea. But it means that, um, especially for boarding actions, you can be at a severe disadvantage, potentially. So we'll just, I don't know, keep on the shields or something. Oh, there we go. We've knocked it out. So that wasn't too tough, but Rog is a bit low on health. And if your um, clone bay gets knocked out while the, uh, you know, if somebody dies while it's knocked out, you just lose that crew member, so they die anyway. So I'd much rather have a, a med bay. So we might try and get a med bay if possible. But anyway, a few missiles, a bit of scrap, not that much. Um, we are full health, which is good. I might actually jump to this one before I jump down to the store. We've got plenty of time to do that, though. We could also jump through that, that nebula sector, which would give us an extra turn, probably. Oh. Apologies, that's my yeah. My cut mats have an annoying uh, tendency to like they stick to the bottom of whatever I, st I put them on sometimes. So yeah, that's a bit irritating. You pick it up and suddenly there's cut mats clattering all over the place. Or I'll be halfway to the kitchen and suddenly clatter. Um, oh look, there's a cut mat on the floor. Hmm, didn't even notice. Anyway, um, pirates continue and they have done something, I'm not sure. We will hack, um, well actually, I don't want the teleporter, like, that might be useful, but on the other hand, knocking at my weapons or their shields. There's a variety of choices here, like teleporting, uh, stopping them to teleport over to my ship would be really useful, because I don't have a med bay to heal up in. But on the other hand, the Lanius suck the oxygen out of whatever room they are in. Um, but I, I don't know, maybe weapons would be more useful. We'll, we'll take a risk, we'll go for weapons. Because if they can't fire back while, and um, there we go. Um, right, we'll actually send them both in there and we'll get Leela out. You know, Leela's a capable fighter. Um, we don't want 
her in there with the lanyards, as it were. So let's disable the weapons. Temporarily. And the thing is, when people die, they lose uh, experience points as well. So it's like, it's annoying. So we'll actually uh, send this volley against their shields. Right, we're going to lose somebody. I don't know, um, I can't remember how it works if they both die at once, like, we'll get one out there, and they just knocked out my, yeah, so I'm about to lose a crew member. This is why I don't like, oh god, um, oh, this is crap. high energy impact, I don't know what that is, I really don't, right, their shields are down, um, they're attacking various systems, I have no pilot at the moment, which is incredibly bad. But I can't afford to get anybody killed because, oh I see, they've got like a sniper beam thing. Because uh, they won't then just regen, so, uh, not regen, but they won't get cloned. Um, so we'll try and, oh, I'll have to fix a box gen. This is why I don't like the clone bay, I really don't. Right, take out the weapons. Right, which is fine for a moment, but, right, so we've got somebody being cloned. We've taken out one of their crew members. Repair the shields. I mean, we don't have anyone on the pilot room right now, which is really bad. But we'll actually... Um, we can open some of these doors to space. In fact, we can open all of these doors to space, to be honest, because... Um, of course, it doesn't matter to the laddies. They don't care if they're fighting in uh, a room with oxygen or not. Right. Um, hacking module after that. In fact, no, we'll ignore the hacking module. We'll get the... Um, get Leela back on the pilot station. So we've lost Captain Kirk already. That's a little bit annoying. Um, but they knocked out my clone bait just the wrong time. Like that's... I, I feel like clone baits just leave you too vulnerable to stuff like that. Like we're already down a crew member. And that's cost me vital time. So I get her back there. We'll actually have him back on the weapons. In fact, no, we'll have him on the... Uh, the we'll get Rog back in there for now. And we should be able to just knock them out. Bam, bam, bam. But that has cost us badly. We're down. We've lost Captain Kirk already. It is not good. Um, sorry, Captain Kirk. Uh, yeah. Um, um. I mean, Leela's good and all, and Rog Blake, you know, but they're not Captain Kirk. Uh, is he fixing? Yes, he is fixing. It's hard to tell from that animation. So there we go. That's the hacking module back up. Um, I could have used the neural stunner actually, but I don't think you can use it on your own ship. I don't know. Uh, jump. Go down to the store. If nothing else we might be able to repair. They have crew members as well, but I probably don't have enough um, actual, you know, to, to, to get crew members. Uh, no, we're just going to ignore the trading stuff. Med Bay. Right. Uh, I do not have enough. Um, Sell a requisition license, maybe the new stunner. I do not want the. Yeah, we're gonna get the. I don't want the clone bay, I don't. I mean, that, that's a bit annoying that I've had to spend those, you know, but. Uh, right, um, fix all. Uh, we didn't have enough for any of those, so that's fine. So we're basically down to just the. Um, the. Uh, the charge laser, that's our only offensive weaponry right now, but um, really it's fine. In fact, I could just leave that whole part of the ship open to space. Because these are going to be rooms that the Lanius are working in. So, oh yeah, it's not powered. Uh, that helps, yeah, yeah, having it powered helps. So it's kind of fortunate in a way that, I mean, I had to sell some stuff and we lost a crew member, but the very first store I came to had a med bay available, so we can probably count ourselves actually lucky on that score. So, we will uh, jump. Uh, if we jump there. No, this is a bit awkward in terms of placement. I really would have had to jump that way, but that would have meant skipping the store. We can jump to the distress beacon and then decide from there what we're doing. We might have time to jump around all those places. But we'll see. Um, a disease. Oh, uh, oh, 
because I've got adaptive gel suits that gives me a blue option so we will do that and they will um, very good they've set up the quarantine I got reward and a drone destroyer turret we'll actually see if that's an actual drone system yes simple turret that blasts enemy combat drones with swarm missiles okay uh, if we go down the route of drones that might be useful as a basic defensive turret but I'm not decided yet so we'll jump um, I might I mean you can jump here and then uh, we'll see we'll jump here first we haven't invested anything in the ship yet but uh, oh it's uh, okay okay continue right so this is just gonna be in fact we'll just um, What's better to fire the volley of shots because it's got you know it's got to get through the knock down the super shield anyway so um, I don't know we'll try it like auto firing at first but I've got to remember then take it off auto fire is the only thing so they don't have any borders that's not going to be a problem but the oh, 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 ouch the uh, charge laser I mean if it was a bit faster for the individual charges I mean we're taking a bit of damage here we might just want to jump away from this one because they can with their missile launcher they can just get through our shields oh ouch yeah we're taking a bit of damage here it's a pity when you're getting the med bay that you don't get some kind of like refund for selling the clone bay but sadly it does not work that way right that's down so take that off uh, auto fire and we'll also I mean, we'll, we'll go for their weapons knock that out while the charge lasers is uh, charging so that's only giving me a little window but sometimes a little time is all that you need and the good thing about the charge lasers is because it's three shots and uh, at this level it's um, all ships where they've got one level of shield so you don't need to particularly uh, uh, like, like some of the charges are going to get through unless you get lucky and uh, the, a couple of the shots miss but you, you know you knock down the shields with one or whatever and even later on actually a weapon like this is useful for knocking down enemy shields specifically because you can uh, go through several layers of shields with this now unfortunately two of the three of those missed such RNG, I know, but uh, anyway, we'll actually go for weapons again. Oh, I was not paying attention there. I can't knock that out anyway. Hold down repairing. Now, upgrading this is probably going to be useful. I mean, the hacking module is just really useful anyway. And we can jump now at any time, but I feel like we can probably have a good chance of winning this particular fight without taking too much more damage an extra scrap will of course be useful it's nearly charged we're just going to keep on there and, uh, oh, well one hit at least so they've got four health left this is not yeah we'll, we'll just stay with this fight there's no reason to jump now it looked like it might be a bit dicey at one point but no we do actually have this with uh, relatively few problems despite the loss of Captain Kirk um, they will surrender two fuel, two missiles, nine scrap. I don't think that's a very good offer, to be honest. I'll just take down these pirate scum, give them what for. Uh, oh, can't disrupt a system when it's destroyed. Oh, well, that makes sense. Because of course you can. Move the shields. Oh, well, one hit. Well, they've got two things to repair now, so that's uh, in my favour. And I can just go boop. Yep. Nope, you're not having any of them guns. Sorry, matey. Also, that crew member is getting uh, increasingly... Ah, uh, oh, just as it was going back up. Anyway, there we go. He's destroyed. And I got, like, double the scrap. Less fuel, but more scrap. And I would rather have the scrap at this point in time. Now, is it worth adding another point of power bar? I think we just hang on to what we've got for now. Um... That's a lot of jumps around that way. I don't think we're gonna. 
be able to, um, well, I could jump there, there, and then, uh, yeah, but that wastes fuel, though. I don't like wasting fuel. Maybe we'll just jump there and then there, maybe? We might, I mean, it's still wasting fuel, but we can always jump to one of these sectors that are beyond the exit point. The backtracking will always, you know, I don't know, I don't know, anyway. Um, it's one of these things where you just, you never know what might have been with this game. Send an away party? To, I don't think we've got enough people to risk sending an away party. And it isn't giving me a blue option, so... Um, oh, that would be cutting awfully close, wouldn't it? Uh, no, we'll jump that way. Let's not take the risk. A forward scout. Right, an enemy FTL drives charging. Ah, uh, that's quite a nice... Well, this is obviously one of the Captain's Edition, like, layouts, and that's actually a really nice-looking little ship that they've got there. So, uh, pilot station or engines? Actually, that might not be a bad choice, because they then can't evade my shots. And as they are trying to make a getaway, that's possibly the more important thing. So, we will charge up. Charge laser. And hit that pilot station, I guess. Come on, the charge. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. But pilot station knocked out. Um, well, when we get two charges going. Oh, hello, fire. Well, that doesn't matter, but we'll get the thing repaired regardless. Well, that's one advantage of the, the particular to the Lanius ships is that uh, oh, I could take a risk and you know, wait for for the full charge there, right. is that uh, putting out fires, right, we'll just keep on the pilot station for now, because it's something they have to keep going and repairing, and there's also a guy trapped in there, so that's good for me. Be nice if, uh, like, if you had the hacking thing, I mean, this ship layout doesn't have door control, but if you could hack the enemy door control, and that would let you open, you know, the doors to space. On the other hand, the AI could probably do that to you as well, so that would be uh, maybe not necessarily a good thing. Oh, high energy impact. Oh, I hate those ones because they're just like those snipe angle systems. Right, oh, okay, I'm back in the engine room. And got full charge, so we'll blast the weapons for a change. Pow, pow. Okay, this is looking good. I don't think they've got something that can snipe through shields, which is nice for me. And we can just keep delaying their FDL, which is also very nice for me. So I'll just do the weapon system again. Pow, pow. And while they're, um, you know, while that thing is active, uh, it means that they can't dodge, basically. So, you know, full charge. This should be the thing that kills them. Bang, 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 there we go, just as they were about to jump. So, uh, no fuel up from that, but some extra scrap, which is nice. We'll just heal up Rog, and we'll jump to the end, and then maybe do a sector beyond that, and then wrap up the video there. So, onto the exit sector. It's not been the most auspicious beginning, but... We're not doing too badly. Uh, give them five missiles. We're not using missiles for anything at the moment. They might give us some nice stuff. Ah, free reactor upgrade for the price of five missiles. Now, the missile cost is... Was it three per missile or is it six? It might... Or is it five or six per missile? It might not actually have been, like, worth the credit value. On the other hand, it's an upgrade without having spent any, uh, any scrap. So... It's uh, not a particular problem. We might actually get both these sectors. So I'm jumping. Yeah, we'll try that. We'll squeeze some extra exploration out of this. Uh, mercenaries. Fight the ship. Yes. Right. Um, I don't recognize either of those weapons, but we'll... I could go for the Rogue 2 system. We might do the same. No, we'll do the... We'll do the shields. I mean, if I time it right with knocking down their shields with the charge laser, I can get the maximum effect, potentially. But of course, it doesn't guarantee that their uh, my shots are going to all hit the target. So there we go. Uh, get that going. Shields down. 
fire off like the weapons. Pow, pow, pow. Now, they're not offering me any fuel. If they were offering me fuel, I would maybe say yes, but I'll go, we will not accept surrender. So, we'll just um, hammer on them. Now, the O2 system, well, that's fine. It's just a hull breach. The actual system is fine, so we can ignore that for now. That's not critical damage. And having a Lanius means you can just send somebody in there to repair it. In fact, it's it's almost as good as having like a, a repair drone, basically. Um, I could have waited to... It doesn't matter. Get the ma maximum effect from uh, having his shields down, but we'll just wait. I'm actually going to charge. I've only got two charges there, but we'll just fire it off anyway. Because two is sufficient if they hit, and they have, so that's fine. He's down. I actually did get some fuel, so I I'm more scrap than he was offering, so that was uh, worthwhile. So I'll very quickly repair that, because if Leela needs to make repairs at some point, um, it would be nice if uh, she doesn't have to go through the airless room, because unlike uh, Rog over there, she can't uh, quite handle a vacuum. No, she's lost like one, no, two hit points, but it's fine. I'm not going to be that uh, anal about it that I'd send her back to the med bay even so. So at this point, more crew would be nice. Um, maybe some upgrades to the ship. I'm thinking shields and crew as my um, my priorities for now, but also another weapon system because the charge laser on its own. It's all right at the moment, but once we start meeting tougher enemies, it's not going to be adequate just on its own. Uh, Socialise with the crew. Uh, okay, she's not made any deliveries while she was uh, with her previous career with Planet, Planet Express, so it's interesting to note. And back to the exit point. So we will jump to the next sector. Now we have a smuggler port or Circle 43. Interesting, that leads to a nebula sector. I could do this one. That's, there's going to be more pirates and more fights means more scrap but also more risk. Um, it's interesting this map though that it's generated because we've got... Either way it's going to be going through a nebula sector and then a couple of green sectors and then it's all red sectors at the end. Obviously the final sector is always you know, hostile but uh, interesting. I think we'll take the risk. This might be not a good plan but we'll jump here. And we'll wrap up the video here also. Ooh, space sparks. Uh, how much you'll spend during the long range jump? Oh, this is new. I, I should say, I've actually, um, since I last played Captain's Edition, I went and got the latest version of Captain's Edition. Like, the, it's been that long that there's been another version out. Even though FTL hasn't had any uh, new um, stuff, like any patches or anything like that. Because it's a fairly stable, fun little game, you know. It just... Uh, very reliable, it doesn't crash or anything like that. Um, but Captain's Edition has had one or two updates, so uh, this is new. I, I have not experienced this before. Uh, minimum FTL using any emergency fuel. Interesting. Um, do I need some engine upgrades? Ah, that fleet pursuit double for two jumps. It's unlikely you'll run into a lot of trouble, uh, trouble with rebels, so I might even... Uh, oh, and we've we've jumped right into a pirate fight, so we'll have the pirate fight and then wrap up the video. Reject their offer. Yeah, no, screw you guys. Uh, oh, they have no... Oh, this is interesting. They have no shields, but they have got a cloak. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it looks painful if it hits me. Uh, come on, decloak. Right, they can't fire while well cloaked. Um... Weapon system, or do we go for their cloak? We'll go for their cloak because that's whoa, hello. That's their main defense right now. So we'll keep charging. We don't need to fix the doors, that's fine. Whoa, where's it? Uh, oh, ABS target locked. E. Right, charge, come on. Right, we want at least two charges. Uh, weapons. I could probably just put it on auto fire actually because they don't have. Oh, right, shields. Ow! That's punched right through the hole. Oh, these guys are nasty. Um, maybe I should have knocked out that. Right, no, you're not cloaking, matey. Um, get shields fixed. Come on. Charge laser fire. Wow, we're taking a right battery. I mean, we can beat them, but my god, the cost of it is uh, not good. Um, fix the engines, fix the engines. 
God, Roger's having to do a lot of work on this ship. It's punctured the hull, um... Oh, good lord. No! You, just, you guys, you are not getting out of this by surrendering. S surrendering? Surrendering. Look at what you've done to my beautiful ship, man. My beautiful ship. Force them out the cloak, destroy them. Wow, I took a thorough battering. I mean, that was... Wow. That's a new thing in Captain's Edition. Like, jumping in and suddenly um, you're getting pummeled by all of the things. Right, I'm being fired at by... It wasn't even the ship that was firing at me. There's like a hidden pirate station or something. So we're going to have to jump right away. Well, actually go... This is risky. Um, but that double fleet thing... I'm going to have to jump through a nebulous sector anyway, so... Yes. Uh, Rebel teleport. Oh, good lord. Right, um... Where? We'll have Rog fight them. We can't open the doors up, unfortunately. He's the only one that can actually uh, um, go to the med bay. Looks like they're attacking the med bay. That's fine because he's getting healed up. Uh oh. Oh, get out of there, Rog. Um, they are beating up a lot of stuff. Right. Uh, God damn rounds, because cause every time they do this, it uh, it breaks something. But if I can kill them, uh oh, right, that's fine, except not for Leela. Um, yeah, this is all knocking out things on my ship, which is not good. Right, Leela, go fix O2, and. He needs to like the the Lanius, like they're not particularly tough fighters, like say compared to the Mantis. But the the main thing of them is that they. Uh, uh, where are you going? Get me out there. I just need to. Oh, good lord! No, stop running away! There's just so many of them. For goodness sake! We're playing. Uh, ridiculous games of chase the intrudulators there's also one that doesn't have a health bar it looks almost like all right Whoa. we can't afford to lose him um oh. right can we go to the pilot station i wish i had an upgraded thing now but uh sadly i don't uh this is a bit silly if this destroys the ship, if it's the, literally this... Right, we should get to kill one of those people. Um, one of them looks like they don't have a health bar, which is weird. Right, that's one down. Come on, stop running your pansy and let me kill you. We're down to like five ship points, uh, hold points now. Oh, for goodness sake, four. Because every time you repair and they go and knock it out again, that then counts as. Uh... Right, we're going to have to have them both fix that up. Because otherwise, Leela's going to die. Right, we'll send her back to the med bay. Um, This is a bit ridiculous. This might be like, oh, we, we, we survived the first sector, and then it's like this. And it's like, nope. There's that one guy that doesn't have a health bar, and that's really weird. Like, I don't get that. If I fixed up door control, why are they trying to damage the shields? Yes, they are. I feel like we should have silly music going right now or something. Because this is one of the more silly things that's ever happened to me in this game. <laughs> Let's just run away! It's like all they do is run away. And all you can do is chase them. The fact that one of my crew members is Lanius means I can't really have both crew members fighting in the same compartment. Good lord. This is like... I remember things like this in Pokemon where you'd be... There we go, he finally died. You'd be chasing somebody around, around and around and around and around. That was ridiculous. That was actually ridiculous. Right, let's have Leela repair that compartment. Uh, Rog can repair the doors. Actually being able to open the doors and open all the rest of the compartments on the ship apart from there might have been useful, but even uh, with the unupgraded state of the med bay, um, it would have, you know, that was a bit tricky. 
So the doors are being repaired. Oxygen should be slowly flooding back in. We're in a very bad way. Like, we need to find a store absolutely post haste. Because uh, this is not good. This is really not good now. I'm down to four points of, of hull left. Um, I might want to invest in more shields, maybe. Uh, have I got enough? No, I don't even have enough to uh, do that right now. So, that's that's not good. That's that's very, very bad. Um, We'll see. We'll do another episode and see if we can survive with the ship in this state, even though it's in a pretty perilous state right now. It might be possible. It might not. Um, but this is, uh, yeah, this is interesting. This is my first time in a Lanius ship, so, uh, maybe I should have just gone with the easy. Maybe I should have been a pansy. I don't know. <laughs> I should have been a wuss. Anyway, uh, that was silly. You can leave any comments below. You can hit the like button. You can subscribe to my channel. And as always, stay tuned for more.